In my experience, the doctrine of baptism is among the most confusing doctrines to people in the religious world. There's a lot of different teachings out there on the topic of baptism. Some people say that you need to be baptized just to become a member of a local church. Other people say that baptism is an outward sign of an inward change. While others believe that in baptism you are literally united with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Some say that baptism has no effect on one's salvation, while other people say that you need to be baptized in order to be saved. There's disagreement as to whether or not Jesus forgives sins before or during baptism. People don't agree on whether or not the Holy Spirit is given before, during, or after baptism. And then, of course, there is a disagreement as to whether or not baptism is a sprinkling, a pouring, or an immersion. These are just a few of the many different ways that baptism is explained in churches all across the world. Over the course of the next few videos, we're going to consider the biblical doctrine of baptism. And I want to encourage you to approach this with an open mind. I hope that we can just open the Word of God together and study what the Word of God has to say. And as I've said in other introductory videos, I want to encourage you to think for yourself. While I respect men who have studied the Word of God, and I often turn to them for their opinions and perspectives, I think we all should recognize that our faith lies between us and the Lord. And if we want to understand we truly want to understand the topic of baptism, I believe the Lord will help us understand. So I encourage you, approach this with an open mind, an open heart, and an open Bible. And I'll look forward to discussing this with you as we go through this study on the topic of baptism.